Oh, it's a chilly one today. Welcome to this week's video. We're gonna talk about sleep. I'm gonna teach you how to fall asleep fast, and most importantly, I'm gonna teach you the best technique to help you fall asleep faster. Okay, now that's much better. Remember, please, this is a two-part series. It's gonna be two episodes. So in this episode, we're just gonna learn how to sleep faster and the best techniques to help you fall asleep faster. And the next episode, so episode two, we're gonna learn about sleep hygiene and sleep cycles and other tips that you can do to help you sleep faster. So you need to watch both episodes to become a pro at it and get some high quality sleep and start feeling super refreshed. So welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, we talk about everything healthcare to keep you healthy and happy. And as always, in every single video I say this, please remember the whole video is gonna be chaptered in the description below. So if at any point you wanna find any specific information, feel free to click on that description below, click on the information you want and go to it. However, I would always recommend that you watch the entire video. Also, if you do find this information helpful in the video, don't forget to click that like button. It's going to help the video grow. It's going to help the video get to more people and it's going to help me out too. So sending you all those awesome vibes. So let's keep this bit nice and short. So first of all, why is sleep so important? Well, sleep has been linked to loads of things that help us stay healthy. First of all, when we sleep, it kind of refreshes and cleans our brain. It helps reduce brain fog. It helps keep our memory concentration levels high. It helps regulate hormone levels. Also, getting adequate sleep also helps reduce cancers. Certain cancers as well have been linked to low sleep hours and low bad sleep patterns really. So sleep is super important at keeping us all healthy. So now that we've summarized the importance of sleep, let's work through the different techniques that are gonna help you fall asleep faster. I'm gonna work through each technique one by one, see which one works best for you or try them all and see which one works best for you as always. Don't forget to leave a comment below as well letting us know which one worked for you, which one didn't work for you and also any of your own suggestions as well. So let's begin with the first technique. This one is called the military technique and it's all about about relaxing your muscles, breathing properly, and also visualization. So let's work through it. So here's how it works. To do the military technique, you're gonna lie in bed in a nice dark room, first of all. Once you're in bed lying down, you're gonna start relaxing all your different muscle groups. And the best way to do it is work from top down. So first of all, start with your eyes, start to relax them, then with your mouth, relax your jaw, relax your tongue, relax your neck, working down, relax your shoulders, relax your arms, then slowly relax your legs, and just slowly work your way down. Whilst you're doing this relax, relaxation and thinking of each different body part that you're relaxing, you need to start breathing calmly as well. So remember we said it's all about muscle relaxation and breathing technique as well. So we're just gonna do calm breathing as we're thinking of each body part and relaxing them. Now the next bit of the military method is all about visualization. This is probably one of the most important parts of this technique. So what you need to do is push out all those negative thoughts and the thoughts that are on your mind, all the stresses that you've got going on and all those thoughts that are in your mind when you're trying to sleep. Push them all out and try to visualize something else. One of the best ones is the canoe visualization, which you're lying in a canoe in a dark place and you can see the stars and everything's super calm and the canoe's just moving slowly whilst you're lying in there and looking at the stars maybe and it's a really, really dark sky. Now, if you are struggling to visualize and you're struggling to get these thoughts out of your head, you can repeat, don't think. Don't think, don't think. You can repeat that for 10 seconds and keep repeating it if needed to help you stop thinking of other activities or stresses that have happened in your life. So that is another sort of method within the military method visualization section. Now moving on to the next technique to help you fall asleep faster. The next technique is called the 478 technique and it's actually based from yoga. So this is a counting method that we're gonna work through in a second. And the whole purpose of it is to relieve you from your anxiety and stresses that are going on. So if you feel if you are that kind of person who has a lot of stress and anxiety inside, the 478 technique might just be for you. Okay, so here's how this technique works. You're gonna lie in bed, again, in a dark room. Remember, it's all about relaxation, okay? So you need to make sure that you're relaxed again, try and relax your entire body. You could use the military technique as well here to help relax each part of the body. But one of the most important things about the 478 technique is that you're relaxing your mouth, relaxing your jaw, relaxing your tongue, just let it settle in a relaxed position. The next thing you need to do is Breathe out fully from your mouth. So breathe out fully from your mouth until your lungs are almost empty. And then breathe in from your nose for four seconds. So in from your nose, and then hold for seven seconds. So hold that breath for seven seconds, and then breathe out for eight seconds, okay? And you can repeat this four or five times, however many times you need it to help you get into a relaxed state of mind. Now moving on to technique number three to help you fall asleep faster. Now this is a bit of a controversial technique, but it does actually help a lot of people out there. Now remember, 
Falling asleep is an involuntary process, okay? So in this technique, it's all about trying to stay awake for longer, okay? So it kind of takes your mind off the process of trying to make yourself fall asleep because remember, it's an involuntary process. So if you're trying to make yourself not fall asleep, it means that you're thinking about different things, which again is gonna help you then fall asleep because it's that involuntary process that then takes action and then makes you fall asleep. So try the technique, let us know how you get on, leave a comment below with this one, and now let's move on to the next technique. Okay, so let's move on to technique number four to help you fall asleep faster. This one is called autogenic training. And autogenic training is actually based from hypnosis. And the whole purpose of autogenic training is to try and relax and calm your nervous system to help you fall asleep. So here's how it's done. Okay, so autogenic training starts like this. As always, lie in a bed, dark room, make sure the temperature's right, relax all your muscles. You could use the military method as well to think of each muscle part and relax it. Next thing you need to do is focus on your breathing and then repeat to yourself or say to yourself, I am completely calm, okay? Until you feel like you are completely calm. So that's the first thing you need to do. The next thing you need to do is that we're gonna focus on different body parts. So the next thing we're gonna focus on is our arms. You're gonna to say to yourself, and whilst you're breathing as well, don't forget about the breathing, you're gonna say, my arms are heavy. And then you're gonna breathe as well, and then you're gonna say, I'm completely calm six times, okay? Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're then gonna to move to your legs. So again, don't forget about the breathing, but you're gonna say, my legs are heavy. And then you're gonna say, I'm completely calm six times again. So I think you're starting to get the picture here. You can work through each body part. You can talk about your abdomen, you can talk about your wrists, you can talk about your hands, you can talk about your feet, whichever part you want. It's heavy, followed by I am completely calm. So that's what we're doing for each stage. Now, as I said, the whole purpose of this technique is to relax and calm our nervous system. And after a while, you're gonna feel nice, warm, and relaxed inside. So you don't need to continue saying, my legs are heavy, my arms are heavy. Once you're in this state of mind, it's gonna be very easy to fall asleep. So give it a go, let us know how you get on. Moving on to technique number five to help you fall asleep faster. The next technique is all about meditation. Meditation has been done for thousands thousands of years to help people relax and reduce their stress and anxiety that's going on. Remember, this seems to be a common theme with falling asleep, but it doesn't seem to be it. it. A lot of the reasons that we can't fall asleep is usually because of stress, anxiety, and all these things that are going on in our head a thousand miles an hour, which don't you know, allow us to fall asleep. So meditation can be really helpful at focusing your mind so that you're not focusing on all the things that are going on in your life. Look, I know you've got thousands of things going on. We, we all do. And meditation can be really helpful if you feel like you are struggling with all those sort of things. So I'm not gonna explain how to do meditation. I'm gonna leave more information about it in the description below. And as well on YouTube, there are thousands of videos, really good ones on how to meditate and teaching you different techniques. So feel free to watch them as well for some more ideas. Okay, so I've tried to keep this first episode short and sweet so you can look at the different techniques that are gonna help you fall asleep faster, okay? So we've gone through each technique. Give them a go, see which one works for you. They do require practice, remember that. It's not gonna be a case that you do one and it's gonna work straight away. They all do require some practice for a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks until you get it you know, mastered so it's gonna work better for you. Now, this was episode one. In episode two, we're now gonna look, well, not now, we are going to look at the different tips and tricks that you can do to help you fall asleep as well. It's gonna work hand in hand with these techniques that we've just gone through to help you fall asleep faster. So those tips are gonna be vital for these to work properly as well. So please make sure that you watch that video when it comes out. It's also gonna talk about different sleep hygiene, which is also really important and no one talks about. And sleep hygiene, by the way, isn't about being clean and tidy. Of course, that's important, but sleep hygiene is a completely different thing. And we're also gonna talk about sleep cycles in episode two as well. So they're all gonna link with the techniques that we spoke about today to help you get a better night's sleep. Because it's not just about falling asleep, it's also about the quality of sleep that a lot of people don't talk about. You know, they're thinking, yeah, I'm getting eight hours of sleep a night, but is the quality of sleep good as well? because that can make a massive difference and a massive impact in how refreshed you actually feel. So, I really hope that you find this information helpful. You've got the techniques now on how to fall asleep faster. So please do let us know which one works for you. And if you've got any of your own tips as well, please leave a comment below too, because I'd love to read it. And I'm sure everyone watching this video would love to as well. As I always say at the end of every single video, always remember that you're awesome and I will see you next week. You can use the visualization technique, which they do in the military technique. <laughs> Principle hypnosis. Okay. I'm moving. 
Now, now moving on, moving. Hey guys, thanks for watching this week's video. Make sure to click that like, follow or subscribe button now to stay up to date with new weekly videos.